All right, class, we're continuing on. We're on lab station number six. In this station, don't spill the drink. We're going to fill a cup of water and we're going to look at the surface of the water as we fill up this cup and see what happens. Okay, so we want to fill up our first cup and set it over on the countertop. And then we want to add some water to our second cup because we're going to see how full we can get the surface of this water. All right, so we're down level with the rim of the cup. And we notice here that with this cup here, we can see the water going over, we can see the water going over the surface of the cup. Now, the whole point of the paper clips now is to see how big can we get that dome on top of the cup. So as we add paper clips here, it's displacing water and filling up this cup more and more and more because we're filling up the space with paper clips. Eventually we'll get to a point as we continue to fill it up that that dome is going to get larger and larger and larger. What I want us to notice here with this dome is when we look at the edge of the cup right here, we notice that we've got water touching the rim of the cup and then we've got water out here in the middle that's not touching the rim of the cup. Well, the water that's sticking to the rim of the cup, water sticking to another surface, that's adhesion. But the water in the middle of the dome that's not touching the cup is water sticking to water. So that's cohesion. And so we see here that that adhesion and cohesion, just like they added together to make capillary action, adhesion and cohesion add together to create surface tension. Now with the surface tension we can also float objects on the surface of water. So we see here that with this water we can take paper clips and we can float them on the surface. This works with these particular paper clips because you've got surface area here with these plastic paper clips that is greater than that is greater than the weight of these paper clips. 